Good morning to you. It is Thursday, 6.57 a.m. on the east coast of the United States, May 26th, golly, 2022. So this morning, we're going to visit Paris, France for the new Nespresso, Paris Espresso. But first, let's look on the world map and see where these coffees that are in the Paris Espresso came from. So they came from Latin American Arabicas. Okay, let me turn this around. All righty, so you know, okay, Latin America, there's the United States. Okay, and let's see, France is up here in the fold of the map. <laughs> okay, now, Vietnamese Robustas. So, Vietnam is located in Indochina. Okay, here's the United States. Of course, this is the world, so, you know, we should be able to wrap it around. The world is not flat. Okay, so, here is Asia, all right? So we got like, there's India, there's China, okay? And um, here's Japan up here. And here's the Philippines here. So here's Vietnam, all righty? Let me show you a more close up. Okay, this is a map of Indochina. See, Indochina which consists of the countries of Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar, which used to be Burma, Thailand, Vietnam. Did we get them all? Yeah. Okay, so. Aha, Vietnam. Okay, sort of a little bit shaped like an S. All right, and there's the South China Sea, the Philippines, they're over here. So that is where the Robusta coffee in this Paris Espresso comes from. Okay, so let's go ahead and get about making this, okay? I was reading, well, of course I'm going to try it black you know, to begin with. And I was reading that, of course, being a French coffee, it's good as a cafe au lait, which means uh, coffee with milk, basically. Okay. Oh, pretty, huh? I like that. So this is an intensity of, let me turn this right side up, an intensity of six, okay? And it's recommended to make it as an espresso, okay? Uh, it says that it's a delicately bitter cup with cereal and citrus notes. Drink it like a local, enjoy your cup black or as a cafe au lait with a French pastry. Oh my goodness, I should read these things beforehand and be better prepared, right? Like when yesterday I should have had some Turkish delight and today I should have a French pastry. Yesterday we did Istanbul. By the way, I think I told you a story yesterday about how um, years and years ago I was in Israel and an Arab um, couple was serving us some coffee, which I'm sure was Turkish coffee because or very similar, they had it one of those little pots on a long handle and poured it over into a little tiny cup and they served a box of chocolates with it, like, you know, filled candies, filled chocolate candies and told us to take one. And, you know, when you read about drinking the Istanbul in Turkey, when you read about drinking that coffee, it says to have it with some Turkish delight. So I think, you know, you nibble on the sweet and you take a sip of the bitter coffee. And by the way, um, if you've never heard the song called Istanbul, it's a really fun song. Um, it, 
Istanbul used to be Constantinople, okay? And then they changed the name to Istanbul. Well, anyway, we are ready here. Let's pop our Paris into our pixie. And here we go. <clears throat> Get a little spoon here. Okay. Ooh, nice crema, huh? All righty. Taste the crema. This is definitely, <laughs> definitely bitter. Uh, the crema always is. I don't know why. Why do I taste it? Actually, I should just look at it, right? Okay. Here it goes. Mmm. I like that. You know, it's funny. Um, I, I'm, I am trying to figure out, I know what, if I like a coffee or not, trying to figure out what is it about the coffees that I like, and what is it about the ones I don't like. I'm trying to figure that out, and then I'm trying to find the language to e express it. Um, so, yeah, I'm so careful to say espresso, and just then I was going to say I'm trying to find the language to express it, <laughs> because it's not expresso, there's no X, it's espresso, E-S-P-R-E-S-S-O, Paris espresso, okay. This is actually very good, and it would be delicious with something like a French pastry. Oh my goodness, do you know what's interesting? The Istanbul espresso that I had yesterday, I remember it was so intense that I would have wanted an intense sweet with it, like Turkish Delight, um, you know, or um, really good chocolate filled chocolate. But with this, I wouldn't want something as intense. Something like a French pastry would be perfect. Okay, let me go get some milk out of the fridge here. You know, uh, honestly, to do this right, I should warm up the milk in a separate container because, you know, I'm going to have to warm it up. Oh, wait, you know something? I, I think I saved. What I do is sometimes, oh yes, I did. Sometimes if I drink coffee and I just have one cup and I know I'm going to have some more later, I'll put the cup in the fridge uh, rather than having to wash it or sit it up on the counter. So I'm going to put a little milk in this cup that I had in the fridge. Okay. And I'll Pop it in the microwave. That's not a lot. I better, hmm, it is cold though. I'll go with 12 seconds. I mean, I don't wanna cook it, right? Okay, so seven, six, five, four. I'm wearing a dress today. Nope, not substitute teaching. Going to a pre-K four graduation. needs about, I would say, I'm going to give it seven seconds more because it's it's nice and warm, but it's it just needs to be a little warmer. Because remember, the temperature of your coffee really does affect how you experience the taste of it. Okay, so... There we go. 
Now, I like a milky coffee. Because this is not that milky. This is light. It's not, you know, super milky. Okay. Oh, this is very nice. Mm. Now, I will say the plain espresso did leave an aftertaste in my mouth, but it's a nice one. It's a taste that I like to have. So that's kind of influencing what I'm tasting now as well. Oh, should I go? I'm going to quick. Okay. Not that you need to see this. I'm going to give my mouth a little rinse here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, a lot of it's out now. Let me <laughs> let me try this again. Oh, I'll tell you, this is a very nice, even though it's only in intensity of six, and I tend to like the higher intensities, you know, like eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. This is really tasty. Mm, because the flavor, the flavor is just um, strong. But that bitterness has been cut by the milk. So, okay, you know, I hope that this gives you some kind of an idea of whether or not you'd want to try it. Um, I think if you tend to like the Italian espressos, that you would like this for sure. Mm. I'm going to go enjoy this. I may even make myself another cup. Well, listen, I'm off in a little while to my pre-K-4 graduation where they will move up to bona fide kindergarten for next year. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. And as usual, just it's always a good day to choose to be happy. It's your choice. And make good choices. <laughs>